Hey, I'm Daryl Todd. I'm with Frontline Machinery. Today we're going to be showcasing one of Keys Track's most popular crushers. It's the Compact R3 Destroyer. Um, what that is, it's a horizontal shaft impact crusher. It's primarily used in concrete and asphalt recycling, but is also being used widely in, in natural stone applications as well. Right now we're in the, the feed hopper. Um, at this portion of the feed hopper, just prior to the material entering the impact crusher, so what you can see here, um, Keys Track has not gone with a symmetrical design here. Um, it's actually been engineered to be asymmetrical. So, and, and people ask me, why, why is that? And the reason that is, um, the reason that the, the machine is designed this way, is when you get an elongated um, piece of concrete or asphalt or rock that is coming down the feed channel, with the feed hopper being asymmetrical, the, the rock or the concrete hits this first, turns that piece and then it goes through the crusher um, without jamming up and that's something that's unique to Keys Track that they've um, designed. It's just another example of a very well thought out um, machine to overcome a very common um, problem which is bridging and jamming in these feed hoppers. Now the other thing that we can uh, that we're looking at here is the uh, the pre-screen area of the feeder. Now this is a punch plate pre-screen it can be easily be uh, swapped for um, various sizes in this particular machine here. We've got a 40 millimeter opening, which is a very um, popular size for us, but we can go up to like say a three inch um, 75 mil opening or down to, we can even run a completely uh, blanketed off area if we were just crushing everything down to say three eighths minus. Underneath these wear liners, the actual entire hopper frame is manufactured from AR450 as well. Um, something that nobody else does. So in this feed floor here, the feed floor vibrates independently from the hopper sidewalls. And what that does is it helps break up the material and release it to get a good flow um, hang in towards the pre-screen area of the crusher. So one of the things you'll notice when you look at the Keys Track machines is the fit and finish. Keys Track goes through a, a very intensive process um, to finish their machines. So the steel is sandblasted, then it goes through a process where they zinc coat it from a corrosion protection standpoint, and then it goes to the powder coating oven. So every single component, including the frames, um, any, any smaller parts you might see has all been powder coated. And that, that really gives the machines a fit and finish that's gonna last for many years to come. So right now we're standing in front of the crusher housing, the impact crusher housing. Um, what we're looking at here is the safety inspection hatch. So I'm just going to open this up. This is what uh, we typically do on a daily basis just to check the condition of the blow bars in the crushing chamber. It's a uh, fairly simple. Here is the uh, safety right here. This, if this is unhinged, the crusher won't start. All right, so now that we've got the uh, crusher hatch opened up, we can see the, the lower apron and the upper apron and we can also see one of the blow bars. Um, so it makes it very easy to, to go in there and do a visual inspection of the crushing chamber to make sure that everything's in good shape. Um, we can also, as we, uh, rotate the, as we rotate the impactor, we can then take a, take a measurement and look at the, uh, check the settings, the gaps on the impact crusher. Um, Keystrack's made it relatively easy to to do these inspections and, and on this particular hammer mill we're running um, we're running what we call two high bars and two low bars um, that's a typical um, set set up in a recycling asphalt or concrete recycling application so there you can see I've just in a matter of a few seconds I've, I've been able to um, do a visual check on all four of the blow bars and and check the crushing chamber and we know we're good to go now um, just literally it takes just a daily check two or three minutes a day to do the inspection as you can see on the inside here too everything's got bolt-on replaceable wear liners on the whole interior of this crushing chamber making replacement of interior wear plates very you know, relatively simple and straightforward. We've also got a uh, lower inspection hatch uh, that we can use if we need to. 
Um, one of the interesting things you'll um, about the entire impact crusher housing, the entire crusher housing is manufactured from Hardox 450 steel. It's a very, very high strength steel. You also notice that the, uh, the spindles for the lower crushing aprons are mounted to the exterior of the crusher housing. And the reason they do this is the, the sidewalls of the crusher housing have an incredible amount of strength. And before when the, so all the crushing forces are then transferred to the sidewalls as opposed to the back walls of the impact housing. So a lot of, lot of impact crushers, um, the crushing forces are transferred to the back wall of the impact crusher. And what ends up happening over time, because there's a lot of stress on those areas, the back wall of the impact housing can actually start to give way and um, from stress cracks fall apart. So Keys Tracks come up with a very innovative way to, to handle those, those forces with, by mounting the, the, the springs to the exterior of the crusher housing. So here in the background we have the, uh, the magnet. This is another very innovative feature um, from Keys Track on the R3. As you can see the magnet here is hydraulically adjustable. That means we can lower or raise the magnet um, depending on, on what we want to do. So if there is a jam up we can raise the magnet, clear the jam out, then lower it back down. The other thing that you can't tell just by looking at it is that the magnet, the entire frame of the magnet is made from stainless steel. And the reason they do this is, um, as opposed to using mild steel, is that stainless steel is not magnetic, so it does not take away from the magnetic um, forces of the overband magnet. Keystrack also uh, manufactures this section of the frame um, from stainless steel as well, and that is also to not take away from the power of the overband magnet. So you'll find that the magnets on these machines are extremely effective, um, pulling out almost 100% of the steel that comes in the outfeed material. So the Keystrack R3, like the other Keystrack impactors in the family, it is a direct drive system. Um, so it's, it uses a, what we call a hydrodynamic clutch or a turbo clutch. So there's a really a direct power transfer from the engine to the rotor. There's very little loss of power like there would be through a hydraulic drive system. Um, from a maintenance standpoint, we can manually disengage the rotor. Um, so that means we can start the engine up to move the crusher and the rotor is not engaged. When we do want to engage the rotor, when we're going to produce, it's simply a matter of reaching in, um, pulling the lever, flipping it over, and now we're in the engaged position and ready to start crushing. So one of the things we really like about the Keys Track um, crushers and, and screeners, indeed all their, their entire product lineup is that They've really thought about it from a practical standpoint. I mean, the fact is uh, when you're crushing or screening, there's a lot of maintenance that goes along with it. So they've, they've done a really good job of making sure that everything that you need to access um, from a daily checkpoint standpoint, like checking your fluids and checking your blow bars, checking all your wear parts, um, everything's very accessible. As you can see here, like even the air cleaner, you don't have to go inside the machine. You can simply access it from the exterior of the machine to do a checkup to get inside to where the, the engine compartment is. It's simply open a hatch here. We can walk in and um, within a matter of seconds, uh, we can be in and inspecting anything that we need to uh, inspect inside the engine compartment. So inside here, we've got a com what we call a combi cooler. It's a hydraulic oil, hydraulic oil in, in the uh, water cooler. So this opens up in a matter of of minutes and both those coolers can slide out can be high pressure washed with a steam pressure washer for cleaning um, very easy from a, a maintenance standpoint as well here so another thing that makes a uh, keys track unique is the use of their intelligent hydraulic system what keys track uses is a load sensing piston pump hydraulic system one of the reasons for this is it it's between 20 to 30 percent more fuel efficient than a standard gear pump it also means that we have, uh, we need much less hydraulic oil capacity in the machines. Um, so our hydraulic oil reservoirs are literally about 50 to 60% smaller um, than other machines in, in this category. Which in a cold weather application, um, the less hydraulic oil you have to heat and worry about, um, it's very, very beneficial. In fact, I've got a customer in uh, Saskatchewan um, I was speaking to earlier today and they're operating one of these machines in a minus 27 Celsius environment. 
So now that we've got the crusher opened up in what we refer to as the maintenance position, we can see the rotor. Now as you can see, the rotor is an extremely heavy duty build. Um, in fact, this is one of the key factors that makes this crusher incredibly productive for its size. If we look at uh, this rotor compared to other um, horizontal shaft impactors in its class, uh, the rotational force, or also known as the flywheel effect of this particular rotor, is about 80% higher than other impactors. And the reason this is, is um, if, you, if you take a look at the weight of this rotor, it's over a thousand kilograms heavier um, than anything else in its class. Now if you look at the blow bars themselves, uh, each uh, this is a four bar rotor, each one of these bars weighs 230 kilograms as well. Other impactors, uh, competing brands, their blow bars range from 160 to 182 kilograms. You can see on the Keys Track rotor, um, it's almost a square design. These um, are replaceable wear parts in here, so instead of having the hard surface or build up the rotor, we can simply switch out a wear plate. The, the blow bars are very easy to access for doing routine replacement or flipping. As you can see, we've worn down the leading edge on this bar, so once this bar is uh, worn down, it'll be removed, flipped, and put back into the rotor to use up the other half. With the Keys Track uh, blow bar design, coupled with the, the way that they've designed their rotor, we get extremely high utilization out of our blow bars, um, typically up to about 60% of the original weight of the bar is consumed during the crushing process. So when you start looking at all these little details that we've gone over in the machines, it really shows that Keystrack is living up to their tagline, or their, their what you might say their motto, performance in every detail. Many of these things are not visible to you as you walk around the machines. Uh, you might say they're almost subtle or hidden details, but when all these details come together, it makes a huge impact at the end of the day on the performance of the machines and ultimately um, your cost per ton.